Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Desmond and in my today's tutorial, I'll be taking you through on how to build your first project for Cobalt Toolbox in XLS uh, form or XLS sheet. So uh, in my previous video, I taught you on how to build from scratch using this uh, option, build from scratch option. But in my today's video, I'll teach you on how to create your first project in XLS form and upload it using the upload an XLS form option. So what you basically need is simply a Microsoft Excel in your computer or a Google Sheet. Uh, so for me, I'll have to use um, a Microsoft Excel and this is how the forms look like. So uh, in the XLS form, it has three sheets. The first sheet at the bottom here is the survey sheet. The second sheet is the choices sheet. The, the, the third sheet is the settings sheet. So if you're not keenly, you will see that um, I have used the small letters or, and uh, the spellings have to be checked. Uh, this is the survey, this is the choices, and this is the settings. At the top uh, row, there is a type, then there is a name, then there is label. So this is uh, actually this is the, the default setting of uh, your sheet. So maybe other settings are maybe for uh, to determine whether the question is required. So we use either true. If it is required, we have to use true. And if it is not required, we use false. So so you will have to use false option. If uh, for relevancy cases, maybe in one of the choices you had a choice like other, and you want maybe uh, the enumerator or the respondent to answer whether they have an option or an option that uh, is not stated in your survey sheet so we use an option other and it is indicated separately as this way and uh, we have the calculation column also uh, in my next uh, video i'll teach you on how to perform calculations in cobo collect this is how uh, the choices sheet looks like it has the list underscore name it has the name and the label uh, all the questions that have the multiple choices played the choices have to be displayed in the choices sheet this is the settings so the, the settings captures the title of the form and then there is a uh, the version uh, the version of the form currently i'm using version 2 so this is version 2 and above so you'll have to uh, write it as this way this is the date uh, when this form was uh, created and this is the time so let me get back to the survey sheet in my survey sheet you will see the type so uh, the type is a uh, indicate uh, dictates the type of question uh, you see i have start and end this is the starting time and, and this is the end time on when the data will be captured and this is today all these are called the metadata. I'll show you uh, where you can get the, all the metadata. Uh, this is select one, the name of the village. One of the one of my question is select the name of the village, and uh, the type of question is a select one. So if the question was if the numerator was to maybe indicate multiple, so the type of question might have changed to instead of writing select one it will be select multiple uh, then there is a text uh, the next type of question is uh, the name of the water point this is a text form the next question is uh, select one these are select one uh, the and the numerator has to select one uh, the next question is a text type the next question is an integer type. So this means that uh, uh, the enumerator has to write to answer in an integer form or a whole number. The next question is a select one, select one. Then the next question here is a geo point. So which uh, will require the enumerator to capture the location of, of the respondent or where they are. Then the, the next question is an image type of question which uh, requires the numerator to capture the image or photo or uh, this is actually the version uh, but uh, when creating this one you can omit it there is a calculation calculation uh, column here there is the relevancy column this is the label 
uh, this is how the questions will appear in the form. There, there is a name. This is how the variables will be captured in your form. If you're not keenly, I have separated them using underscore. The variable uh, should not have any space and should be captured as just as one name. The purpose for this one is uh, especially for those people who want to analyze or export this data. The data uh, in a data analysis tools like SPSS or Stata. Uh, will have a privilege of it. Instead of writing these uh, to be so long, like uh, the approximate number of water points, uh, this one can seem, uh, be shortened to as number of water points. No underscore of underscore uh, water points. Water points. For the safety, you can simply write it as uh, water underscore safety the owner for the owner question you can simply write it as on so that uh, when you when you export this data to a tool like SPSS uh, you will view it uh, just as a, as a single variable as the variable should be short uh, the here is uh, on frequency uh, fr water frequency you can capture this one as water underscore frequency uh, to denote how frequent they get the water this uh, capture the location you can simply shorten it as a location this one can be simply captured as an image or uh, image this number of water points this is a source and so simple as that uh, now our form is ready you can simply now upload uh, by tapping this option you can simply drag uh, from the folder in your computer or you can simply ta tap on this uh, option and it will take you to the folder like this then you will have to tap the form then open once you open uh, it will upload it and uh, as you can see here the title of the form uh, is uh, already captured here you can change it if you want then for the description you can write uh, maybe a short description water points uh, in Tudor uh, for the these are required question uh, maybe maybe the sector you will have to choose any for the country you can select your country then uh, you can check this one then you will have created your form so you can simply uh, tap this i button here to preview your form to check whether your form is uh, uh, okay or not so in my in my question here you note that uh, I had indicated I, ha I had indicated this question uh, as a select multiple question so uh, you will view it as a radio so this is a select multiple question uh, for this one is a select one question you see the option for other this is how it looks like and uh, so on for the e uh, for the image and uh, coordinates is indicated this way you can simply tap this one to capture the uh, you can reactivate your location you can activate your location setting for you to perform to capture the location coordinates here but uh, same to the phone and there you have your form